Hello everyone, this is Samuel here with Eagle Investors, here for a trading platform comparison. Now choosing a brokerage is often the first step in starting to invest or trade, and there are many different options out there. In order to decide, one should evaluate the type of trading they will do, and then contrast industry comparables and their applicable attributes. Now, platforms for trading, you might wanna consider critical considerations such as speed, cost, product offering, and usability, and platforms mainly for investing, you know, think about the minimum deposit, credibility, and the mobile access. Now, one quick distinguisher here is, well, what's the difference between trading and investing? Oftentimes they're used together. I'm using them more so to distinguish the active trader or the active individual in the marketplace, whether they're trading, you know, more complex products and instruments, you know, such as options or futures, or if they're, they're day trading and they're swing trading, they're using more technical analysis as opposed to, you know, investing in the future and saving or retirement investing or strictly long equity portfolios with even fundamental, fundamental theses. So to start off, my opinion, I'm not an expert in, in all of the platforms, but from you know my experience and and also the experience of many of our clients and what platforms they like the best, as well as you know all of our advisors and our traders as well. The best trading platforms, I believe, you know, starting with Thinkorswim from TD Ameritrade. This is great for for stock and option trading. It allows for technical analysis and charting, and has a very strong mobile version. Now, this was really the main platform that that started started off the retail trading uh, like ecosystem and was just so much better than everything out there for for a number of years. So it was the first remains one of the most popular retail trading platforms to start off with. And you know that's why TD Ameritrade couldn't build something comparable. So they had to buy out Thinkorswim developed by Tom Sosnoff. So next up, Tastyworks, also developed by Tom Sosnoff. You know, years later, after leaving Thinkorswim, you might notice Thinkorswim really hasn't changed much in a decade, and that's pretty true. But Tastyworks takes a little more newer and more innovative approach to particularly option trading and, and futures as well. So they focus less on, you know, the technical analysis and charting and implementation of different scripts and that kind of usability that Thinkorswim offers and continues to offer, but more on low cost, fast execution, and more portfolio analysis tools and a very user-friendly and easy to use, more visual kind of appearance and display. So I'd recommend Tastyworks if you're exclusively trading options, maybe you wanna get into to futures, whether it's the small exchange or the CME future products. And you know, they're, they're really, I'd say the best when it comes to favorable margin needs, the execution speed, the usability from a beginner to an advanced level, and, and in general, the product offerings. One thing to note there is, you know, they even offer an individual that deposits as little as $2,000, everything from futures trading to naked selling on options and, you know, things that most other brokers for better or worse, won't allow unless you have much larger bankroll or extensive experience with these current products. Thinkorswim though is very popular for day trading stocks, options, you name it, anything, as well as, like I said, there's more technical analysis and charting considerations. Now some, some notable mentions here, interactive brokers. You know, this is great for, for international clients as Thinkorswim and Tastyworks aren't offered globally. Uh, interactive brokers also is often used with uh, some more professional traders and you know they like the, the offerings that they have. I don't have much experience with interactive brokers, but it's a, it's a favorite definitely for the, the international clients. TradeStation is also very popular among active traders, particularly in the crypto trading space and there's also a platform, you know, specifically designed not for investing and trading, but, but for serious traders and is, is worth looking into as well. Now the best investing platforms. So I'd say eTrade now from Morgan Stanley with the recent acquisition 
you know, has a very strong product offering for everything from, from active trading, you know, with their power E-Trade version to, you know, retirement accounts or passive long equity exclusive portfolios. You also have a very friendly user interface and mobile application. Um, you know, they're, they're less friendly to use comp in terms of complex options and, you know, they don't really have as many technical tools as well as portfolio analysis tools from a probability standpoint needed for, for very active option portfolios like Thinkorswim and Tastyworks provide. But in terms of stock trading, long, short, and, and understanding that, as well as, you know, whether it's active with power trade or retirement accounts and what have you, everything in between, very strong choice. Except Fidelity is a very strong overall portfolio, but definitely less active trading friendly. And they have something comparable to Power E Trade, but it's a little arcane and and less less updated as as what was highlighted on the trading page. Some notable mentions here: Robinhood, I'd say by far the best mobile application, particularly for new investors. They kind of gamified the whole trading and investing ecosystem has thus blown up over the past two years, especially with the increase in retail traders going into the marketplace. Charles Schwab is really great for, for ETF investing as well as strictly long option or long equity portfolios. And they also, you know, so does Robinhood offer option portfolios. Now it's worth talking about the fee structures as well, and we'll get to that on the, on the next page, but Robinhood is, is unique in the sense that not only do they offer zero fees for stock trading, but zero fees for option trading. Now, I'd be a little cautious about this, however, as the fills are often you know, less than adequate and, and do not make up for the reduction in fees, as the fee is among these more competitive trading firms and, and better options trading platforms from E-Trade, Thinkorswim, and uh, Interactive Brokers, and Tastyworks. You're, you're talking about a dollar open and close for a single leg position or, or 70 cents even. So this is Investopedia's comparison of, of some of the, the platforms that I covered. Now Fidelity has the you know, described best overall and best for, for low costs. I'd say they're a little less user friendly and I'm not a huge fan of their option trading. However, the N0 account minimum and a strong rating. TD Ameritrade, best for beginners, best mobile app. I'd say very strong for, for trading in general, as well as options and technical analysis. So I, I'd recommend them. TCWorks is definitely my favorite. Options and futures trading, the usability. Uh, the mobile app is not great, but I don't, I don't really trade mobile. So that's not a big consideration or factor for me. And Again, it's dollar to open and trade option positions, but they also cap that at $10. So if you buy 100 contracts of you know, SPY, it's capped at $10 commission, which is extremely favorable. Interactive brokers, now they claim it's best for advanced traders and international trading. You know, A lot of advanced traders do prefer interactive brokers, um, but like I also highlighted the international trading as well as, as the um, the usability, the offering, and, and just it being available in many of these countries. Charles Schwab, best for ETFs. Again, good for long option or long stock as well, has option capabilities and, and the likes. So in summary, you know, pick a broker that's suitable for you and your needs, compare costs, usability, and quality to start, and avoid using unknown or new platforms when depositing money and trading as there are risks and, and scammers out there. So. Just a little disclaimer there. I'd also encourage you to check out on our Discord page. We have a whole broker channel that highlights some of these different brokers and what they what they offer as well. So thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this video.